Android 3 on 3 and welcome back to Pokemon Sweet version. Today this episode is going to be a little bit choppy because it's just going to be sort of like a bunch of clips of loads of side questy side bits that I'm doing because as I've been going through the game I've realised there's been quite a lot that we've missed. Just the first bit I want to point out is we are currently here at the Ginger Arena slash Cake Tunnel area and we got there from going east from Orange City which was Cerulean City which I think was actually the proper route that we were meant to go but we didn't actually go. Now as far as my team goes this is how we're looking at the minute and this is like I'm thinking this might be the levels of well the levels I want to be at for my off-screen training being finished but as you can see we do indeed have one space missing and that space I wish to be filled though that's a sentence that's just getting worse and worse but I was going to say that I wish to fill with one last sweet oh actually no that sentence didn't sound too bad I wish to fill the fill my nope don't use the word my I wish to fill the hole in my team with sweets that that just sounds like you're eating a lot of sweets as opposed to what it almost sounded like but anyway, we've surfed down to the ginger wood. And if we head in here, I think it's technically the power plant, but... Oh, welcome to ginger wood. I suppose it is obvious how it got that name, no? I'm guessing the houses would be made of gingerbread. But, oh, you've met Chocobun. This is a secret, but she was actually born here. And... Nobody goes near the house, it attack Near the big house, it attacks anyone who does. We eventually stop trying to knock it out. And that big house is exactly where we wanted to go. Retchin just suddenly attacks. Yes, this big house in air quotes is actually just a poker suite. And it is the poker suite that I wish to become the sixth member of our team. Now, as far as type wise goes, I can't remember. I think it might be chocolate type. But something that I did find out just from general off-screen um, like practice against it is that if you do accidentally KO it, it doesn't actually go away. It just knocks you back like two tiles and then you can just battle it again. So you do actually get as many chances as you want to try and KO, well not KO this thing, to try and catch this thing should I say. Right, party, aria cake, let's try and put it to sleep and then catch it again. Oh, out of confusion immediately. Oh, and now it's safeguarded, sure. Um, right, let's, I'll go for the bite one more time. There we go, that's, oh, that was awesome, right. Now is the time that I just throw balls at it. Since I've got that one great ball, I'll just throw that straight away just to get rid of it. Just so it isn't annoying me in my inventory. Okay. Well, I mean, I bought those 30 Ultra Balls in preparation for this, but if you're just going to get caught in one Great Ball, that's fine. Oh, dear. Red Ginger, the gingerbread sweet. A massive living gingerbread house. Despite its frightening exterior, it's known to be very hospitable and kind. And now it's our final team member. The door opens slightly. Red Ginger seems happy. So let us... Oh, my gosh, that... That sprite looks amazing. <laughs> right, it's chocolate type. Uh, I've got no complaints about the stats because they don't really mean anything to me in this game. Right, moves. Um, the moves are a bit naff, I'll be honest. Um, but if we read this sign, we discover that Reginja was actually our own house. And... That we have a lot of tables in our house. Oh well, can we go to sleep? We can indeed, and it heals our Pokemon that right then and there. Ha. Huh. So I will join you back in the next little section of this choppy episode. So I was just exploring Freezer Island again where I found the found the Cry Orange, just as I'm trying to do a little bit of off-screen training before the last gym. And I've come across, within Freezer Island, this triangle thing. 
And oh, also I found this that repels heat and boosts great moves. I found that ice cream. But I also found this weird triangle and I don't know what it is. I think it might be another legendary Pokemon that I've accidentally found. Um, yeah, oh I found another legendary Pokemon. Mana Lime. I'm, I don't think I'm going to, you know, try catching it on screen. I'll see if I can catch it, but if I do it'll be on screen and then I'll just cut back to when I do catch it. So, um, legitimately I just caught it with the only Ultra Ball that I had. Granted it was in red health and asleep, but I've caught Mana Lime, so I don't know if this means that I've got something that another legendary- Oh, it must be a legendary Pokemon. A very small, yet extremely tasty and rare lime gummy. Its power is incredibly high. I think this may be another one of the legendary bird equivalents. So I think we may end up kicking another poker suite off of our team just to make room for it. And at this point, I don't know, actually I'll just take a quick look as to whether Cry Orange can learn Fly or not. Right, it can, so I'm, I'm thinking Banani Buzz may be the one we kick off our team just because, I'll be honest, it isn't that great. Ooh, saying that maybe Candina we could kick off even though we've had her from the beginning. But I will join you back either when the next episode is normally meant to begin or if I find anything else here on Freezer Island. And for the next part of this choppy episode, I've flown us back up to Chocolate Creek, although I didn't, I'm not sure why I needed to cut. I could have probably just walked out of, gin, of the ginger wood and flown back here. But what I wish to show next is this hole in the cake. This is the ginger arena that, um, that was on the map and just let me take a quick look in my bag. And I'm going to move that master ball just out of the way in case I accidentally use it. But items wise, okay that's fine and we're all healed up. So if we talk to this woman, welcome to the ginger arena. If you can survive four battles here you'll win a prize. But be warned, your team does not recover between bouts. And yes, I would like to enter. Yes, basically, you have to battle four, all four of these trainers. And your Pokemon don't heal any HP or status ailments within the meantime. But you might think I'm first just to weigh you down. That's just silly. Let's go. And now, a thing I would like to point out that this is actually just where I did the majority of the off-screen training to get my Poker Suite all, Suites all to level 50. But as you, as you can see, the Tea Cakes and Goman, okay, that's a weird name, but all, all four trainers, I think they all have four Poker Suites, I can't actually remember, but they are, all of the Poker Suites that they have, they are all just level 32, so... Even at this point in time, even though it's... Oh, okay, paralyzed. Even though we are level 50, the this place is pretty good for off-screen training. Or, well, not off-screen training, but just, just for level grinding. But, yeah. Words. I can words good. Right. Type page, I am terrible at, so I'll just do whatever. And, well, there we go. Pystoise is level 51 accidentally anyway. Right, there's... Um... Wow, I like how well that sentence went. What I was going to say is, after this episode, or once this episode is done, I... Well, the episode after this, should I say, will be taking on the final gym. And just... Just to save my own time and save the episode some time, I did actually go and battle all of the trainers off-screen within the gym first just so that like unless the battle is deceptively short and easy against a gym leader which I'm not quite sure of yet um, unless yeah like I said unless the battle is ridiculously short and easy the whole episode will probably either be probably either well done it will probably 
just be that battle or that battle on the walk up to Victory Road. But anyway, congratulations, here is your prize. And yes, for surviving those four battles, you get a rare candy and... You get a rare candy and all of your poker sweets still injured. Isn't that super? But as far as, uh, what do you call it, side stuff and team filling, I believe that was all that I wanted to do. So, I think off screen I'm going to go <clears throat> maybe just fly around the world a bit and then pick up a few more. Oh no, hold on, no wait. I just had a brainwave, I've missed something out. Where's my fly? There it is, mana line. I was about to end the episode off, but I remembered something that I forgot, that I'd just forgotten. If we do fly back to Celadon City, if you recall, I did avoid the game corner. Yeah, that's what it's called, the game corner. Because I didn't know where to get the coin case, but I did actually find out. If you go inside, then uh, Green was his name. Yes, Green will be stood here. Gah, stop sneaking up on me. Huh, what are you looking at? I didn't lose all my coins playing games downstairs. I ate them all. They're chocolate coins. See, my coin case is empty. You can have it. And Green tossed the coin case at your feet. And there certainly wasn't a prize for winning coins. But yes, he's a big fat liar. There are actually prizes for winning coins. There isn't a... Uh, like you said, there are different games downstairs and there's also those games there. And I'll just... I'll just give a quick rundown of the prizes. Well, I say rundown, I'll show you them. You can get TMs from here. I believe this central one is TMs as well, because there is no poker sweets you can buy. And finally, we've got the smoke ball, miracle seed, charcoal, and I'm assuming the mystic berry is going to be the mystic water. And, well, the yellow flute. So now that I've shown that, I'm going to end the episode here. Work up my team a little more by getting them, getting them better moves and kitted out for the last gym. And I will meet you guys in Flower Town for the 8th and final gym batch. See you then.